Okay, so um, I watched the video of um, one of our brothers who was trying to justify the reason why Facebook, you know, does not monetize Nigeria and um, some other West, West African countries, basically. Um, and the two things that I picked from that video are the fact that Facebook is giving to us free of charge. And as such, we don't have a right to tell Facebook what to do. That we don't have a right to complain to Facebook where they get it wrong and when they get it right. All right? That is one of the things that I picked. And the second thing that I picked there is the RUPM system where you are able to know how much you make per 1,000 um, views that you have for every video. You know, he talked about that also on the video. And um, I, I, I really appreciate the fact that at least um, somebody reacted to it in as much as he did not accept every other thing that I said in my video, you know, but at least to an extent, he was able to make his own um, recommendations. I mean, he was able to say his own mind and try to explain to us the reason why we cannot ask for our rights. But then I'm going to start from the first one, the first one where he talked about the, what, what we as a consumer, what we as people who use the Facebook app, the right, where our rights um, ends, where our rights starts and where our rights end. Now, let me explain this. Now, there is a universal consumer right to everything that you consume, all right? There are actually eight consumer rights, but I'm going to explain, I'm going to just focus on few. Now, first of all, a consumer has a right. You can Google some of these things that I say. I'm not saying it out of my own initiative. It is something that is all out there. It's a document that you can actually go and check out for. Everybody that sells anything to you must, must allow you to enjoy each and every right that I'm about to call out right now. So the first one is right to safety means that right to be protected against the marketing of goods and services which are hazardous to life and property. Now, the second one is right to, inf to be informed. You have a right to be informed about everything, every application, everything that you consume as a, as a final consumer. Now, also, you have the right to choose. You have the right to check and choose the right thing to use for yourself. Also, you have a right to be heard. Now, I'm going to read other rights. You have a right for redress, to seek redress. You also have a right for, to consumer education. Now, first of all, I'm going to just choose from um, the right to be heard. Now, he talked about the fact that um, you cannot come to Facebook and tell Facebook what to do. Now, if you go back to consumer rights, consumer rights says that you have a right to be heard. And where are you going to be heard? You're going to be heard in that same particular, from that same product that you bought. From that same product that you bought, you have a right to talk about that same product. It is your right. It is your right to tell Facebook that you as a Nigerian that is spending your money, your time on their app, that they're supposed to treat you the same way they are treating other people who are spending their money and their time. It is your right. You have a right to do so. Nobody should deny you of that right. You have a right as a consumer. That is one. Then two, you also have a right to seek redress. If there is anything you are not finding funny, you have a right to air it out. Facebook cannot stop you from airing it out. So I'm seeking redress right now as a content creator. I'm seeking redress now as a celebrity. I'm seeking redress now as somebody who spends my time, who spends my money, who spends my effort on this product. Not minding the fact that they gave it to me. You so feel, okay, because they gave it to me and as such, they should treat me any way they like. No! You have a right. You that is watching me, you have a right to seek redress. It is there. Go and Google the right of a consumer. It's a universal document. It's a universal document. It's not only applicable to Nigerians. So that if somebody will not say, it's only in Nigeria. No, it's a universal document. Now, on the other one, he was talking about the fact that um, Nigerians do not run ads so so much so that uh, that's the reason why Facebook have not actually given Nigerians monetization. And I'm asking you, how many of how many Nigerian companies are running ads on, on YouTube? As a matter of fact, a lot of more people are running ads on, on on Facebook than on YouTube. I am running my YouTube from Nigeria, and my RUPM is what we got to two dollar per each uh, one thousand views that I get. It got to that amount. 
Yet, how many people are actually running ads on YouTube? Not let nobody deceive each other. You people should not let these people deceive you. The truth is this. They don't see you people as, the, as mean that you, they, they don't see you as people who know they are right. Because if they see you as people who know they are right, they will do the right thing. But they see you as people who don't know they are right. That is why most, most of you are always on their app, using their app, spending your money and your time, doing content to make people stay back in the app. And yes, they cannot give you monetization in Nigeria. But YouTube, where people spend less time, where people run less ads has given you monetization. And the Arupe PM has even gone as high as $2 per 1,000 views for Nigerians. So who is deceiving who? Who is deceiving who? Who is deceiving who? Me, as big as I am, I have videos that have done millions and millions of views. And yet, I don't think I've ever gotten to $2 per, 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 per 1,000 views on Facebook. Facebook needs to do the right thing. Nobody should deceive you. All of you should open your eyes. It is high time you open your eyes and ask for your rights. Don't let any celebrity deceive you to tell you that you don't have a right to question Facebook on their own app again. It's a lie. You as a consumer, you have a right. Go back to Google and check the consumer rights. You have a right to ask anybody anything so long as you are sure that you are using that app. Don't let anybody deceive you.